So, without further ado, let's get travelling. Here we are by the River Thames in 1820 and this is where William Turner used to do most of his paintings. Oh, we're also here in Constable country as well, Suffolk. So two places today, two artists, William Turner and John Constable. So let's find out more about those two artists. So let's start with John Constable. He was born in 1776 in Suffolk. Suffolk, still to this day, is sometimes known as Constable Country. His paintings were very popular and usually included beautiful cloudy skies, people working outdoors and picturesque buildings nestled within the countryside. Constable was all about finding the most beautiful places in England and trying to make them picture postcards. So he was all about beauty, idealisation, and that was Constable. So he grew up in Suffolk and worked with his family at a place called Flatford Mill. And a neighbouring house, this one here, was the scene of his most famous painting, The Haywain. However, during this time period, there was another artist on the scene, the maverick, William Turner. <laughs> Notorious for his crazy last minute alterations within the gallery space, William Turner's paintings can now sell for up to £30 million. Joseph Mallord William Turner, not to be confused from William Turner from Paris the Caribbean, was born in 1775. So William Turner was very different from Constable. He was all about dramatic skies, mixing paint, doing things that had not been seen in landscapes before, and very much about man versus nature. This is a typical example of a Turner painting where you can see the train speeding its way through the countryside. Turner loved bright, vivid colours, and here we can see his dad grinding away and making the paint, which then William Turner would have then gone away and created the most amazing dramatic skies and beautiful, bright, vibrant scenes. Unlike Constable, whose main locations were Suffolk and Brighton, William Turner loved to explore, and he would travel to the far ends of the country and across Europe to find the most dramatic scenery to paint. A notorious event which is depicted in the next scene is when William Turner, despite his critics, turned up to his exhibition late to add a red float within his paintings because the critics thought it looked too bland. Threw in the masterpiece. Why on earth would he go and do that? He's been here and fired a gun. Oh no. <laughs> Another famous story about William Turner was how he produced this painting, Snowstorm. So William Turner believed that the only way to really represent a storm was to tie himself to the mast of a ship and go out into the storm. That was the only way he'd be able to get the power and the feel of the storm himself in his own painting. In his paintings. Painting. Yeah. Hmm. That was our time travel to 1820 with John Constable and William Turner. And now it's up to you to create your own landscapes based on what you've seen. Your challenge. To create landscape pictures inspired by either Constable or Turner, you may want to try both. You can use any art materials and create as many outcomes as you like. This is a reminder of their work. John Constable. John Constable style. Ideal, picture postcard settings, beautiful buildings, cloudy skies, picturesque scenery and luscious green trees. William Turner. William Turner's style. He loved the force of nature, vivid colours, dramatic skies and expressive paint strokes. <laughs> 